So Mark, what about this one here? Yes, this one is a uh, quite interesting pattern because uh, uh, use different component, um, CDC and uh, a little bit of dubbing. And this is normally very hard to do traditionally, but uh, with the magic tool it's very easy to do. So that's very easy. For that, start by the thread and you use my technique for the body, which is to use the full feather like this and make a, a body using the plier that way. Grab the feather, trim the excess here and then twist and wrap over the hook shank and go a little bit further, wrap close to each other and that here I do not twist too much that it is not exactly conical but almost cylindrical like a, a caddis body. Leave I would say a little bit more than one third to make the echo. So a few wraps to secure and then trim the west and then trim the body. Okay. Now, uh, dubbing. How does that work? You just grab a little bit of dubbing like this. Not much. That you put on the table first. Then take your feather, put the barb 90 degrees from the stem, get rid of the very beginning, and then you just do the same way like this, which incorporate the uh, the, the dubbing together. Trim on both sides, and also remember, <laughs> never take the table like this, otherwise everything is gone. So take it on one side like this, trim both sides, and then transfer to the transparent clip, and then trim off along the stem. And you have both components together in one run. So now let's split the thread, go like this, then like this, incorporate the echo substitute that way. Spin a little bit in your finger first, take 10 centimeters out of the bobbin holder and spin. When you have enough, stop, forward everything, and as you see, the dubbing here went very close to the thread and leave all the barbs separate. It leaves the CDC fibers separate. So you, you can really create more movement in it. So you just go like this, help the fibers to go backwards to create the shape of the wing. And then finish by the edge. Like this. It's a very fast fly. It's, it's, it's very fast. But you know, for me, a fly where I'm going to spend more than five minutes is not a good fly. I'm not tying any fly for framing, but uh, for fishing. And honestly, I prefer much better fishing than tying. <laughs> no, but. Yeah, of course we can spend hours on a fly, but I don't know if we are going to catch any more fish for spending more hours. So trim, and trim if you'd like a little bit, but it's too much. And that's it.